Lateral access surgery enables a lateral approach to the spine, so avoiding the traditional posterior approach where we typically come through the back and traverse through the, the musculature, the ligaments and the tendons damaging those tissues, lateral access surgery allows us to come in laterally where those supportive structures don't exist, so we can do so in a, in a bit more of a less disruptive manner to the natural tissues of the body. Lateral access surgery is performed by making a very small incision on the side of the patient. It's about two centimeters in size. We then drop down serial dilators landing atop the lateral aspect of the spine, traversing through one muscle, the psoas muscle. When we get to the spine, we're then able to treat the pathology, whether it's the disc itself, whether it's the vertebral bodies, we're able to remove that pathology and replace it. And, and if sometimes it's replaced with additional bone, sometimes we don't need to replace that bone. Um, in some instances, uh, we can avoid using hardware that's typically required of fusion procedures because we're maintaining the ligaments both in front and behind the disc base. And by maintaining those ligaments, we can maintain the stability of the spine. The benefits of lateral access surgery are numerous. Um, it affects not only the patient and the hospital, but the healthcare system and society as a whole. So the patient has far less blood loss during the surgery, so there's far less likelihood of requiring a transfusion. Uh, there is far less and fewer infections. Um, patients have fewer medications required. Patients go home quicker, so that's great for the hospital because now it's opening beds because the length of stay is so short. Additionally, it's great for the healthcare system because it's a very cost-effective way of getting patients out of the hospital and back to work faster and part of society once again. Great candidates for this type of a surgery include patients with significant disc pathology, including degenerative disc disease, uh, recurrent disc herniations, patients with deformity or scoliosis, patients with instability secondary to pars defects or a spondylolisthesis, uh, patients with infection, um, patients that have uh, discitis um, or trauma, uh, but ideally it's great for patients that have had previous surgery at the same level that's once again becoming a problem because we can avoid the scar tissue that oftentimes when encountered can cause significant complications. So by avoiding the traditional approach, we can avoid those complications. Physicians should know that approaching the spine in a lateral access fashion enables one to do so in a minimally invasive, minimally disruptive fashion, but doing so in a maximally effective uh, surgical approach to get the patients back to, uh, back to health, back to society, improve the rehab and recovery.